Hi, I'm Dennis, and I hope you're doing amazing. If you've never been here before, welcome. On this channel, we talk about pretty much anything life has to offer. And I say we because I like to talk to you guys in the comments below. So yeah, if that's something that interests you, please do consider subscribing. Many of us have, at least at one point in our lives, experienced a breakup. What we usually talk about is the side of the person, so usually with our friends or family or whoever, um, kind of like the side um, of the person that's being left. What we never really hear about, or at least what I usually don't really hear about, um, is the side of the person who actually breaks up with somebody else. You see, what we usually like to think of the person who breaks up with us is that they're hurting us on purpose, maybe, that it's bad, that they're a, a bad person, we're getting angry with them, we're getting frustrated, we're getting sad, but we don't really know the story of the other person, I guess. <laughs> sometimes maybe you do, sometimes you don't. Sometimes there is a reason, sometimes there may not be a very clear reason. But what I want to tell you, what I want to talk to you about today is that exact side of the person who breaks up with another person. Because that's where I was a little bit over six months ago. A little bit over six months ago, I actually broke up the relationship with my boyfriend that I was in a relationship with for a little bit over four years. And you know, when I said before that many of us know kind of like what it is to um, what it is like to be on the side of the person who is broken up with, um, we all know that that is a very, very terrible feeling and that it feels like the whole world comes crashing down on you. Everything just feels super heavy and you don't really know how you can go on living anymore without that person. But this is not the only side that feels terrible and that feels painful. I have, an, up until that point, been the person that always, like, there has never been another instance. I've always been the person who uh, was the one that was broken up with. So I've only experienced that side of the relationship, I guess. Um, I've always been the person who has been left, and I always thought that that was going to be the case for the rest of my life, in case I couldn't find anybody that would stick around long enough. But what I never, never, ever, ever anticipated was that I would be the person breaking up with somebody else. And what I also never anticipated is that that was one of the most painful and difficult experiences that I've had. And I want to talk about why that is exactly so that you can have a better understanding of why that is and maybe even take with you that it's not always easy for the other person and that um, the other person isn't a bad person for leaving you, you know, because that's what I always thought. I always thought that I'm not good enough. I always thought that I just will never find love or something like that. And I really don't want anybody to feel like that because I know it sounds cliche, but usually it is not about you. Usually it is about the person that's doing the breaking up. And that was the case with me as well. Now let's get back to the why part. Why was it so difficult and painful for me to break up with my boyfriend? You see, um, there wasn't really any bad reason that you could think of. He didn't cheat on me. He wasn't bad to me. In fact, the opposite was actually the case. He was one of the most perfect boyfriends that most of us could wish for. He was super loving, caring. He knew my needs. He knew who I am. I could be literally my complete true self around him. And when we found each other over Tinder um, over four and a half years ago, I was actually really happy. At that time, I was open for, you know, something new, but I didn't expect that I would find this kind of love, um, especially over Tinder, 
because it gets a bad rep and everything, but let me tell you, it's not always bad. The four years of our relationship were actually, generally speaking, beautiful. The problem was that at some time along, my pretty much, I don't know how to call it, stupid heart decided that I wanted something else. I, up until this day, don't know how life can give you something so magnificent and then decide to kind of like make it not work for you anymore because it was really beautiful, but it just didn't seem to work for me anymore. And so that is what made it one of the most painful and hurtful experiences, not only for him, but also for me, because of course there are kind of like reasons for the breakup. So um, me not being that happy anymore and me wanting something else, wanting to be alone, wanting to live my life alone for a while. And that just wasn't really understandable for both of us because we were happy in general. We had really great experiences together. Um, we, like I said, uh, could be our whole true selves around each other. And that is what made it more difficult because you see, at the one hand, I was going to give up something that was great, that I pretty much thought that might have been even end game, you know? And at the other hand, you are in the knowing that you're going to hurt someone that you love and that you will always love. You're going to hurt that person so badly but you can't do anything about it because if your heart tells you to do something over and over again, over an extended period of time and it doesn't stop, then you have to follow it, you have to do it. But what it made it really the most difficult thing and even harder than being the person left behind, so to speak, because like I said, I had my fair share of breakups in the past and they were all really bad, but what made it even more painful than my breakups in the past combined actually was knowing that I will be inflicting so much pain to someone that I love dearly and that loves me dearly as well. Seeing a person being sad because of your decision that you were making is incredibly, incredibly hurtful and um, it's something that will probably be with me forever because it was just a really sad time knowing that I can't change it, but also knowing that I will have to hurt this person really, really badly. And I mean, I broke not only one heart, but two hearts that day or that time. And that is something that really, really is not easy to do. So you're probably asking yourself, Dennis, why the hell are you making this video? Do you want to come across as like a victim or do you want to have some sort of compassion or whatever? No, that's definitely not what I want. What I had in mind when I thought about making this video is that I want to show the other side as well. I want to give people the comfort that it's not always a kind of like bad reason that people break up with you. It's not always understandable, of course not, because life sucks sometimes. Life is unpredictable pretty much all the time. But um, I really wanted to show people that are um, maybe even hurt right now because they were left that um, it is not the other person's intention to hurt you in most cases. Of course, there are exceptions, but generally speaking, there are so many reasons, so many different reasons that one person can possibly fall out of love or still be in love with you, but that's not enough, you know? All of these things exist. So what I want this to be is a comforting video, a comforting chat, kind of like if you want this to be a chat, <laughs> um, for you to see that um, it is not the other person's intention to make you feel bad in most cases. Um, you don't have to feel bad about yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. You did your best and this just happens. Of course, it's going to hurt. And of course, um, I can't take um, your pain away and I can not take the grief away that you're feeling. But um, I hope that I can make it a little bit easier for you and a little bit more understandable and help you realize that, as I said, you're not the person at fault here, that it just happens and that that's part of the love game. That's part of relationships. 
and it always sucks and it always hurts and it's just part of it, you know? Yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today and just share my perspective, my point of view um, of what it is like to do the breaking up because there are so many um, videos and so many stories about people who are left and I wanted to add one story that tells you the other side as well. So if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you've been um, on either one side or both sides before um, on the end of a relationship. If you hadn't had a relationship, what's keeping you from having one? Let's have a chat down below. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Not in a religious sense, but like just a blessed day. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.